So yesterday I told you guys about covered bridges a little bit and I told you I'd cover it in another episode. Well, that episode's now, kinda. We're at least gonna cover one covered bridge. Um, I'm at uh, the White River, believe it or not, Wapahani, as we're gonna call it from now on. And uh, I'm on the uh, White River Greenway, which is a trail that runs up for about six miles just north of Indianapolis. I'm about uh, Noblesville area, Hamilton County. And uh, we're gonna take our Explore Indiana adventure hike on this trail because we're going to hike on up to Potter's Bridge Park where they've got Potter's Bridge, a covered bridge up there and we're going to check it out and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about this bridge and we're going to get into why they even built covered bridges all across America back in the 1800s. So let's do this. Of misconception about why Americans started building covered bridges all over the country back in the 1800s and you'll hear some people say that it was for the weather to keep the uh, snow off so you don't slide off the bridge there's some people say it's for privacy that's why they call them kissing bridges but the real reason is because America they were doing what they did best back then chopping down trees and making things out of wood and wood would rot and so they were constantly rebuilding these bridges until they started building covers over them to protect the wood from rotting and so it just uh made them last longer made them stronger more safe and that's really that was all there was to it but uh they're beautiful structures that's for sure and there were a lot that have gone now um, i know pennsylvania had the most and they had about 2,000, over 2,000 covered bridges at one time in pennsylvania but they're down to just over 200 left where we only had 200, a little over 200 to start with here in Indiana, and we've got about 90 left. So we're doing pretty good on uh, keeping the ones we've got at least, and this is one of them. Um, and, and this one had the same problem. There was a bridge actually here before this covered bridge was here, and it rotted. And so they built the covered bridge in 1870 to 1871, and uh, it was named Potter Bridge after the people that owned the property, the Potter family, William Potter and his family owned the property here. And then in 1999, they got they obtained some more property for the government to build a trail, the uh, White River Greenway, as I walked on up here. And uh, then they, at that time, renovated the bridge, too, and turned this whole place into a park. And so it's a beautiful place that's protected now, and I like that. This bridge is actually 246 feet long, about 20 feet high, 22 foot wide. And we're going to go ahead and walk across this thing. Come along, guys. Let's do this.
So as you can see, this is a beautiful place and a beautiful bridge, and I'm glad they're uh, holding on to this one. There's actually a bunch more uh, in Park County, I believe there's a bunch, but this summer I'm planning on going out and trying to find, seeing it, maybe see if how many covered bridges I could find in one day and bring you guys along on a vlog of a bunch of them or something, I don't know. But we're gonna do something big this summer with covered bridges, but I wanted to tell you guys about this one and show this one because I was in the area. So I appreciate you guys coming along to Covered Bridge Park, and we'll see you guys all next time. Peace. Look, the local news is here filming a video too. They could have just hired me.